Hello, my name is Vikas Poor and today I am going to give my presentation on defense of George Bennett and I hope you like my presentation. My presentation is all about the defense of George Bennett. In this presentation, I am going to defense the George Bennett. So this, this, this presentation is going to submit to the Gary Gree. Let's start from my content. This is the overview of my presentation. And we are going to start from accidents, then going through the regions, the who is the real victim, then notions, some of my notions, then conclusions, then a reference, and then thanks. So let's start from incident on 25th March. 1880, Mr. George Bennett entered into the glove house in drunken state with a carried pistol in his pocket. He needs a sign of Brown to get ripped from jail. He wanted bail from jail as a post charge case against him. He forced a letter starting his period of service at the beginning of an air bag with him in to sign it. Analyzation Bennett was in anxiety due to several reasons such as wife beating. He has not a very good relation with his wife, so that's why he is, he, I think, daily with his wife. Then a neglect of duties and imprisonment as he was on a veil. Mr. George Brown Mr. George Brown was a Scottish Canadian journalist and known as the father of Confederation. He was also a politician, a multi-talented person with an enormous reputation in the world. How it's possible after took a gunshot from when he went to work. It's really and Mr. Brown argued and refused to sign, then argument converted into fight, and this incident happened. He said that's why this incident has happened because I think Brown start argument. He can also sign it, but it's also her personal choice, and this is the biggest evidence that he has started the fight. That and he don't even have a good treatment. He rushed a lot. Like George Brown, he rushed a lot. He do not have a good treatment. He is the richest man, I think. And he can get the best treatment for his bound. And as he did not get a proper treatment, he became the victim of infection. So that's why the bound become infection. So let's take a look at who is the real victim. George Brown. And George Bennett, a guy who take a gunshot in a fight and who was hanged out by a rope without knowing the real truth. So let's take a look at this. According to me, it's George Brown. So let's go. Victim. George Bennett is a real victim. So why? Without knowing truth, deep investigation, they hanged him by rope. According to me, imprisonment of year was acceptable instead of death. Instead of death, this is acceptable. Acceptable, they can give him prison for like a five year or six year reasons in court. Bennett was victim. They treated Bennett as a victim. Imprisonment for a few years was enough as per my point of view. Direct death penalty was a completely worst decision made by judge, court judge. He had no intent to kill. My lord, this is completely wrong. Bennett was early frustrated by wife beating, neglected by duties, and, and the, as I also mentioned in previous slide, and in condition of drunk. If a man in condition of drunk, according to law, is not considered a murderer, he is not in a good condition. So that's why I have also more definite. Like, let's take a look at George Brown. George should be treated as victim. He did not treat his wound properly because he did not go to the hospital as continuously he went to the attend business meeting. He neglected to take care of his wound. Brown treated gunshot wound as a small threat. Why? And he took incident in stripe, treated wound as slightly. He did not care about his wound. After four hours, four days, first sign of infection was appeared and ignored by him. That's the completely wrong thing. It's all his fault. Due to that reason, he was dead at the age of 61 on May 7. 
let's take a look at some of my notions look Bennett had zero percent of intent to kill George George Brown and he was drunken death penalty was not suitable for this kind of things because they did not took a proper investigation like uh, only imprisonment is okay and his me mental condition was not well also Brown did not die because of gunshot he died because of infection that's the completely visible he required hospital attention that he did not get because of his some reasons he should have treat bound better that he did not care because he is he also took symptoms slightly conclusion in conclusion i am going to give my own conclusion and my own thing what i think so let's take a look at conclusion of george bennett and george brown case so let's start conclusion according to me the conclusion of this case is bennett was not culprit without any investigation he was considered as a murderer that was not that he was not he needed justice that he did not get that time so i am here to give get him justice in front of court judge as george brown did not took proper care and proper treatment that he needs to get rid from the infection and due to infection he was die in that age not with a gunshot it's a not a gunshot that by his daddy was gunshot is it he shoot at a leg so that's what let's take a look at some of reference i have used only two reference and first with the first reference the link is here and the second reference of the link is here you can go and check my reference and thanks for watching my video thank you so much for watching my presentation i hope you like my presentation thank you so much